why is it that some of the coolest animals live so far away? One of the most rewarding things about working in the animal industry is when you get to help out projects in the field. A few years ago, I went to Malaysia, and there I was able to help in the anti-poaching efforts and camera trapping to help protect the endangered Malayan tiger. Recently, my wife got to go to Namibia to help one of her favorite animals, the giraffe. We'd seen giraffes before on our trips to Eastern Africa, but their environment here is much different as you can tell. Lots of sand as far as the eye can see. Here she is helping the Giraffe Conservation Foundation identify the different giraffe populations of Namibia. In order to do that, you have to find some first, which requires a lot of driving by the team she's helping out. It looks like one giraffe has been spotted. One of the methods used is using a dart to get a punch biopsy in order to create a family tree of sorts of the giraffe populations. Using the punch biopsy is a way to record the DNA. Only a select few giraffes that the team comes across will need a DNA sample. After the dart collects its sample, it's time to go back out looking for more giraffes. And that can take a while. The majority of the giraffes that the team will come across will simply need their picture taken, as it's possible to identify giraffe by simply looking at their individual markings. Kind of like our fingerprints. Speaking of prints, here's a giraffe footprint. Namibia is home to an estimated 12,000 giraffes. Most are actually found on private lands, while the national parks are actually home to the smallest populations. But trying to find some anywhere isn't always easy. That's why gathering as much information about them is needed for their conservation. After one more biopsy, it's time to make camp for the night. We start off a new day with knowing today's mission is the same as yesterday's. Look for giraffes. They're also spread out in these outlying areas that it can take a while. But here again they come across one. And this one actually sticks around in the background to watch the silly humans look for the dart. Today is spent with plenty of driving and a few sightings, all which is being recorded. The more information we know about a species, the more we can conserve and protect it in the wild. Giraffes unfortunately are in serious trouble. Their overall population has declined 40% in just the past 30 years. But within the last few years, thanks to conservation efforts and public awareness, it seems to be slowly turning around. Today, there are an estimated 117,000 giraffes in all of Africa, but the remaining herds are fragmented and face a multitude of threats, from habitat loss to poaching. So now is more important time than ever to support their conservation. For more information on how you can help, please read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching.